Earlier I did a video about coding boot camps versus colleges versus uh, self-taught as a way of learning the sort of trifecta. And I promised at that, in that video, I was gonna tell you about what path I would take and why I would take it, knowing what I know now, right? Uh, hindsight's always 2020. And um, uh, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, the video went on for about 25 minutes uh, about those three topics, about 10 minutes a piece, a little less than that, or eight minutes a piece. Um, and I think it was good, and I, but I felt like that video was going on a little bit too long, uh, and this should be its own separate video. So here I'm gonna give you a little bit about what path I would take and why, knowing what I know now. Code everything. A little self-sponsorship. If you guys are interested in um, just learning a little bit more about the soft skills, a little bit more about what it takes to become a software developer. I've been, I've read the first eight chapters of this in well, one sitting of uh, John's book, The Complete Software Developer's Guide, and I couldn't recommend it any higher. It, it is a fantastic read. I haven't got to the mid or uh, senior level developer entries. It's really cover all spectrums, but it is something I'm really enjoying. And on site, uh, if you want to help me out, there's a link in the description. We'll get a little Amazon affiliate money. Also, you'll probably help John out as well. Um, but a little thing you want to know, uh, I asked my girlfriend to make me a bookmark or get me a bookmark, and this is what she gives me. I can't even ask for a bookmark without getting some smart ass reply. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this video, guys. For those of you who may be new to the channel, a little bit about my background is that I'm a self-taught developer and uh, I, I was involved in a CS program. I dropped out and then I started going the self-taught route. Um, wasted a lot of time in college. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, what would I do now? Um, and uh, this is something that I think uh, is not going to be the right answer for everybody. And I, I, I want to preface that because a lot of times people are looking for absolute truths. The world is black and white, man. And I just want to know what the, the right answer is. And the, the truth of the matter is that although this is what I would do, knowing what I know now, uh, it may not work for you and it may not be what's best for you. And uh, you have to decide that on your own. You have to really answer yourself honestly about what type of person you are, um, how much of a structured environment or how much sort of handholding do you need to get up and running as a software developer. But um, knowing what I know now, I would, cont I would have started as a self-taught dev um, and I'm going to preface this saying that this is from high school. You graduate as a senior in high school, and the next thing you typically do is jump, maybe take a year off, uh, or you jump straight into college or community college and go from there. So um, this is what I would do is, uh, assuming that I was graduating high school um, as a senior, I would immediately self-study. That would be my, my goal. And I, I say immediately because most if you're thinking about becoming a software developer, chances are, and you're 18, chances are, if your parents are anything like my parents are, is that they are forcing you to do something. And um, they most of the time it's college, right? Um, you know, usually there's three things that uh, parents, depending on your parent, they're gonna, uh, they're going to try to instill in you. College is usually number one. So hey, go to college. You're going to college. You're going to college. I, I, I as a child since the age of five, remember my father telling me about college. Um, so that's very, it's very deeply ingrained in me as well as probably in our society. And, um, the next one is, uh, if you're not going to college, you might be joining the military. Now this is something that my father ingrained in me, but there is a large portion of people who it's like, look, you can go to school, you join the army or you can uh, get a job. And so those are kind of the three, the trifecta of what you do right after you, um, right after you graduate high school, a lot of times. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, the reason that I say immediately after um, you graduate, I would, or I graduate from high school, I would self study is I think I can hold them off for about a year. I said, well, hold up, dad. Hold up, mom. Uh, just give me a year. I'm not, not going to do anything. I'm going to study software development and go from there. Now, this may be a hard thing to convince some overbearing parents and it is but this is what i would do in, in, in a perfect world i would see if i could you know um at i've been working since i was like 12 uh but uh everyone's different right um but uh assuming that you didn't have a job self-study for a year software development and try to get a job then um part of part of that reason is i, I think you can uh i really do uh you're gonna have to 
do a lot of great stuff, a lot of hard stuff. Um, build maybe a web presence, build a ton of side projects, learn relevant skills, go to meetups, volunteer, just be the person that companies want to hire, really. Um, someone who's passionate about software, always learning, uh, enjoys it. Become that person if you aren't already, right? Uh, it's not only about becoming that person, it's also about uh, showcasing that you are that person, right? It's one thing to say, hey, man, I'm passionate. I love this shit, right? <laughs> it's just, I love it, right? You're just screaming at the top of your lungs. But then they look at your resume and they don't see any passion, right? They don't see any volunteer experience. They don't see any uh, certificates that you've been working on. They don't see any side projects. They don't see anything on your GitHub. They see a, a blank resume with just someone who wants to get a job in software. That's not going to be enough as a self-taught developer. Um, now, I'm not completely done with this, the, the other categories. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is I would do kind of what I did and do an online open source free boot camp. You could do something like free code camp where it covers, you know, 1500 hours of stuff and knock that out to put on your resume. So I would sort of incorporate the, the boot camp esque thing. Now it's not a traditional boot camp by any means, but I would incorporate something like that into my, my, uh, learning process as I become a self-taught developer. And finally, to wrap it all up, I would do exactly what I'm doing now, which is go back and get a degree. Why would I do that? Because uh, typically speaking, you're going to make a little bit more money. It's also going to open doors that normally uh, would be harder to open or unable to open. And uh, you won't have to take on the debt, right? So uh, for those of you who don't know, I am in a online degree program, which I'm paying for out of pocket. I don't, I make too much money to qualify for, um, uh, financial aid or anything like that. And so I'm just paying for it uh, straight up cash. I don't have to take student loans out. I have no debt. I'm still able to save a large portion of my income and uh, I'm, I'm working as a developer. So not only am I getting that experience at the same time I'm going and getting the degree, I'm not accumulating a large portion of debt uh, that is standard in today's society and this is something really to consider um i think it's also worth noting that it's not i'm not the first person to just suggest going getting a uh going becoming a self-taught de developer uh and um and uh going back to school later on as path i recently have been reading the um software the complete software development guide by john sonmez or simple programmer some of you may know him on his youtube channel and in his section, he talks about what he would do if he was to go back. And uh, that's kind of what also sort of prompted this idea because I, I don't think I've talked about what I would do. But he would do exactly the same thing, which I, I think is worth mentioning because I, I, I have high respect for um, his work ethic. And uh, I think it's worth mentioning that you sh I I tend to I, – I like that my view aligns with this because uh, when you when you sort of – I don't want to call him a mentor, but when you when you appreciate someone's grind and someone's work ethic, you, um, you you sort of have to to put yourself in their mentality of hey, why would they see the world this way? And it just co coincidentally aligns with how I see the world, and in this this subject matter, and it's it's pretty much what I've been doing. Essentially, what I'm saying is I wish I didn't waste my time in college. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, um, I happened to be one of the lucky ones, although I was struggling to get food and pay for rent and all this sort of stuff, especially when I dropped out of college. When I was in college, I was getting some uh, help from my father. He was paying for, for it out of pocket. Um, so I, I'm one of those lucky ones that didn't take on a bunch of debt and that just, just by the, the luck of life. But I would. I know many developers who have gone to college, make the same or even less than what I make, and have tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And it's it's rough, man. It's stressful. They're paying interest on that debt. Um, but I, w I would say that that would be my path from the get-go, is I would start out going self-taught. I would work myself into an internship. I would then go and get maybe two, three years of uh, experience. For those of you who know, I started my program when I had about one and a half year of developer experience, about two and a half years of industry experience in total, and then um, maybe three years if you count my internship. So pretty much exactly what I did, except I wasted a bunch of time in college beforehand, <laughs> uh, which I hope I, I wouldn't do. But I would go the self-taught route. See if I can incorporate an online boot camp for either free or low cost. There's a lot of open source stuff out there um, that is free. Uh, but there's also some very low cost online boot camps as well. And I would do that. I would then uh, get an internship. 
and uh, go and get a degree. And the, the real question you have to ask yourself is, what is it that you want out of this? Where do you want to end up, right? So I'll, I'll give you an example and then, and then sort of work your way back. My end goal, I haven't really talked about this because it is sort of a, a long-term end goal. My end goal is to um, go and, or my, my dream job, my dream software gig, is to go and work for about three or four companies, uh, in, uh, three or four big companies, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Microsoft. That is, my, that is my dream destination. That is where I want to end up. So how do I end up at, let's just say, Facebook? How do I end up there? Well, uh, I, it, it may seem like a daunting task in the beginning to get a job at Facebook, especially when you're just starting to learn to code. Your first job is probably not going to be at Facebook. So you have to say, okay, how do I get there? Let's start where I want to be. What is this saying? Well, master's or bachelor's preferred, passionate, bunch of skills. All right, let's take one step back. Now, what is the job before that? Well, I get a job as an engineer in that role, uh, building up those skills, get some experience. Before that, I might get an internship. And as I'm doing all these sort of steps, you work your way back to where you are. You see what steps you have to go to get there. And that's kind of how I, looking back on this, what I would do. And that's kind of part of the reason I'm, I'm going back to school. I'm always working on the YouTube channel, doing courses and books, trying to become that person that says, hey, it's just a matter of time until I get that job at Facebook, until I get that job at Google, because I, I am becoming what they want to be. Not because I have to, but because I want to. So looking back on what I would change, how I would go about it, I would definitely start out self-taught. I would evaluate what it is I want to become before I take that path. And then I would set up steps to make sure that I can accomplish that in a, a timely manner. And personally, I think if you can go the self-taught route and you always have the option of you spend a year learning, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great for you regardless. You're going to learn some stuff, but maybe maybe it's maybe it's not for you. You have that option of say, okay, well, I spent a, learn, a year learning about myself. I spent a year learning what I could and I, you know, I found out that I needed a more structured environment. You can go back and say, all right, well, let's, you know, let's start the community college, try and save some money, and then transfer to the the, the big name college or whatever the whatever um, university you want at that point in time. And then I'm going to spend the four years uh, getting my degree, and then I can try to do the internship and the job thing. Uh, because it is it, not everyone can do the self taught, but for me, looking back, self taught, uh, internship, job, maybe another job, college. And then the Mac Daddy job that you're, you're whatever your end goal is, right? Uh, mine is partially to build up passive income streams, uh, build a web presence, and continue this sort of thing because I really do enjoy this. Um, but what what is your goal? I think is how you have to do it. But that's what I would do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful about if knowing what I know now about myself, knowing what I know now about um, how far you can get as a self-taught dev. Because it never really even occurred to me that this could be a thing. It was college or you're a crackhead on the streets doing things for money. Uh, so uh, that was um, that was really what was ingrained into me for a very long time. And, um, and uh, it's not the only way. And it's not always the best way depending on what type of individual you are. So that's, that would be what I would do going back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, support me on Patreon, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, baby, what do you think I would do knowing what I know now if I was going back to, if I wanted to learn software development? You might be a little smarter. What the hell do you mean I might be a little smarter? <laughs> hey, guys, if you're interested in a nice JavaScript course, I just released my second course. And in here, we're actually going to be breaking down JavaScript as a language, as well as give you some opportunities to solve some algorithms and build some build up your GitHub, as well as introduce you a little bit to Markdown. There's a link in the description to get the course for just $15 if you're interested. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.